how to tell your parents you're gay. I, I, I can't explain. You don't have to. I think we understand. Kyle. Hey, you there? Paging Dr. Lewis. Hey. Hey, yourself. I hope you have the proper glasses because I do not do champagne and paper cups. What's that for? You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you still haven't told me what we're celebrating, though. My hot boyfriend just got admitted to medical school. Readmitted. Details. My mom always wanted me to end up with a hot doctor. Did you just say that you understand? Well, it's not much of a surprise. I think, in fact, you could say we pretty much figured it. How? Well, we're not blind, son. And this just clinches it. Th this isn't what I expected. You've been a cop as long as I have. You see it all. I don't know what to say. Oh. You don't have to say anything. It's clear as day. Christian here is a homosexual. I'm not a Chris is gay. Uh, didn't you hear? It's as plain as day. Now it all makes sense. Like what? Well, Oliver not wanting us to come visit. He's been having a hard time ever since he moved in with you. Because I'm gay. Now look, no offense, but it's not as if he has a, a lock on his bedroom door. Anybody would be uh, feeling comfortable. Not uncomfortable, Dad. You've been acting strange since you got here. Oliver was not raised that way. What way is that? Look, I know it's not politically correct, but I'm not going to apologize for it. Our family does not believe in the homosexual lifestyle. What's wrong? I, 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 can't, I can't do this. You seem like a good guy. It's gonna be hard to tell your parents that you're homosexual. Some parents are worse than others. Well, I would, uh, I would just think twice before you do it. And why is that? Well, you're gonna break their hearts. Don't worry. My father died when I was a kid. I'm sorry. That uh, explains it. Explains what? Well, you... You never had anybody show you how to be a man. Well, it's time to fix that. You know, we have a uh, group at our church. Meets every Sunday morning. And I'm sure you could find something like that in Landview. So I can get fixed. It's a sickness, son. Dad, this is none of your business. I'm trying to help your roommate. You don't know anything about him. Do you think he enjoys being like this? There's nothing wrong with me, sir. You know, as far as I'm concerned, you're the one with the problem. Do you like living this lifestyle? It's not a lifestyle. Look, this is who I am, okay? And I'm not going to change for anyone. No one should have to change. That's too bad. But, Oliver, let's go. Where are we going? To find you a new apartment. Dad, I live here. No, not anymore, you don't. I can't just leave. Don't worry about the rent. We'll help you out if we can't find a place that you can afford. Dad, would you just wait? You're not staying with these people. I like these people. No, you only think you do. Yeah, well, I don't need my father to tell me what I think. I'm a grown man. With all due respect, sir, I think you and your wife are the ones who need to leave. I'm not going anywhere without my son. Then stay. Stay, Dad, and let's talk about wait, wait, this. There's nothing to talk about. Your roommate is a degenerate. He's going to hell. So am I, then. What? Dad, Chris isn't gay. I am. Did you hear me? I'm... We heard. 
and how I wanted to tell you. You know, actually, I, I never really thought that I would, but then you found the book, and it's not Christian's. What, you're saying it's yours? Christian bought it for me when I told him you were coming to visit. Why? Why would he do that? Because he saw how scared I was, Dad, that you'd find out the truth, and he didn't think that I should keep living like that. <laughs> you're a good guy, Oliver. What does that mean? Uh, you're trying to help your roommate. I know. But this isn't the way to do it. Dad, this isn't about Chris. He's got to stand up like a man. And he's got to do it himself. I'm doing Nobody this can for do myself. It. What, saying that you're a homosexual? I was always afraid to. Chris and Layla are basically the first people that I've ever told. Dad, I'm gay. They know about this? Yeah. And they've been trying to help me ever since, even though I don't deserve it. Dad, I heard so many people pretending to be something that I'm not, but I can't pretend anymore. Don't you have anything to say? I, I know this is a shock. Layla. No, it's okay. But after it sinks in, you'll see Oliver is the same guy today as he was yesterday. You don't know anything about my son. I know he's the guy that people count on, that they can find. Enough! I know who Oliver is. No, Dad, you don't. But Mom does.